Hello, Hello YouTube, YouTube and, and welcome, welcome to, to your 13th Microsoft, Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express tutorial. And in this tutorial, I will be teaching you the do while loop. Now, the do while loop is one of the most common loops that you're going to be using while making any kind of application. So, let's go ahead and get started. Open up your loops tutorial project, the one that we've been using in the last couple of couple tutorials, and um, go ahead come down here to the um, your form form one and go ahead and add a button from the toolbox go ahead and resize it change the name not the text the name to button do while and then come down here and change the text to do while loop okay now we'll start adding our code for this button okay come down here to um, the method that handles when the button is clicked and we'll go ahead and do what we did last time we'll declare object random as new random and we'll declare what is it? Int random number as integer and we'll set it equal to zero. Come down here and go ahead and clear the list like we do uh, every time we create a new loop. And then down below that we'll, we'll create our do while loop. So to start off your do while loop, just go ahead and type do while and we want, we want to do this while int random number is less than 15. So while int random number is less than 15, keep going through this loop. Come down below here, you can see it automatically adds the loop for us. We're going to go ahead and set int random number equal to object random dot next and we'll just generate a number between 0 and 30 so what that does is it gets a random number between 0 and 29 it can it can't be 30 like I explained in the last tutorial and then we'll just go ahead go go ahead go ahead and add that to our list list data dot items dot add and then int random number dot to string okay so we'll go ahead and run this and then after I run it I'll come back and explain the code one more time so here's our do until loop that we covered in the last tutorial um, and then when we click on do while loop you can see it clears the screen and um, it okay hold on looks like we have a problem no we don't Wait, hold on. Let's try it again. Oh yeah, okay. It's working fine. So, what we did, declare object random as new random, declared int random number as an integer, and um, we, want, we want this loop to perform while int random number is less than 15. So, um, int random number is 0, so it's going to do it at least once and then we set int random number equal to object random dot next between 0 and 29 then we added that to the list so you can see that it it's under 15, 12 is under 15, 5 is under 15, 11 is under 15 and then 26 is above 15 so what it did is it went through this and um, it set int random number equal to object random dot next 30 so it set it equal to a random number which happened to be 12 added that to the list it went back up to the top and um, it tested is int random number less than 15 so the answer was a yes and it went back through the loop and set int random number equal to another random number which was 5 added that to the list went back to the top 5 is less than 15 did all that again created 11 random number and then went back to the top tested it one more time and then when it created the random number again it was 26 and it went back to the top and it said, oh wait, it's not less than 15, so stop the loop. 
So, um, this doesn't really have much to do with this tutorial right here, but, um, sometimes you can create an infinite loop which will always keep going, and those are bad. You always want to stay away from those. Try to figure out what you can do to keep from making an infinite loop. Now, you can see when I press do while loop, it makes an infinite loop, and it just keeps looping and looping and looping because. Now uh, looks like we got a problem here. Got to stop that. You can see the application froze. The reason it did that and created an infinite loop is because int random number is always going to be less than forty if um, you're generating a random number between zero um, and thirty. So there's no way it could be higher than forty, which means that the loop is just going to keep going and going and going, which can cause a lot of problems in your program. So um, try to stay away from infinite loops. Um, Sometimes when you're creating, like one time I created a C++ application with an infinite loop and my computer just like completely froze and I had to restart it. So infinite loops are bad. Um, so go ahead, look at this code, create a couple apps yourself, um, test it out, get used to it. And then once you're comfortable with this code, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial. So thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe.